What's up everyone? How are you guys? Welcome again to my channel. Today I have a very exciting parcel for you guys. Um, it was about a month ago that uh, I was uh, looking for a Drizzile plush. Because I have many Sobo plushes and two Intellions, so I was missing just the middle evolution, uh, the Drizzile plush. And I was searching the internet uh, where I could find one and I found it only in uh, two or three listings on eBay um, and the starting price was about 160 euros without um, shipping or taxes. So I was like, it sounds rather costly for me. I probably can afford that with uh, for one plushie. So I uh, asked some. Uh, I asked a question on the uh, Pokeplush Reddit uh, community, which is amazing, by the way. I'm gonna talk about it uh, later, guys. Uh, so I asked uh, the community there if they have seen any other listing. I don't know, maybe in any other site. Um, so I could find a Drizzile for a reasonable uh, price. Um, and I got uh, quite a few answers, but specifically one user suggested that I could use a Zen Market um, and specifically Mercari. So I'm not sure how, if, if this is exactly like uh, eBay, if it works the same way. Um, but it is actually a marketplace that uh, there are many um, sellers that put their stuff that they want to sell um, and everyone interested uh, just uh, buys that specific stuff. Uh, but uh, Zen Market is only uh, in Japan and if you want to search uh, something you probably have to type the Japanese uh, word for it, so you kind of have to translate that. So, I uh, actually she gave me very detailed instructions on how that works uh, for every step of the procedure because I haven't uh, used this site before. Uh, and I found a Drizzile plush for about uh, 40. Um, euros, I guess, which is like a quarter <laughs> of the original price from eBay. And while I was there, I was searching for um, other stuff that I could find, I couldn't find, and they were so rare and so expensive. And I got some great deals and some amazing stuff, guys. I'm so happy to share it with you. Let's go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> So here is the parcel guys, I got uh, four plushies and one amazing figure and while I'm trying to open this stuff uh, I want to talk about the reddit community guys. So if you like Pokemon plushies and you maybe want to share your collection with uh, uh, other people that share this, the same uh, passion with you. Uh, or maybe ask some questions, uh, find uh, news on uh, upcoming Pokemon Plush products or stuff. You should definitely join this community. Um, people there are so kind uh, and so um, helpful to each other. Um, so, I, actually, I, I didn't expect um, such a such a community that has so many people that treat each other with uh, so much uh, uh, kindness, I would say. Um, you, can, you can find awesome stuff there. Uh, I have seen so many collections and <laughs> so many uh, um, news. I, I, I actually post myself uh, quite a lot there um, when I find something uh, new about new plushes there 
or uh, post my collections and I try to answer as many questions as possible so I can help other members as well just like they helped me this time and I'm so thankful to you uh, if you're watching this I'm so thankful to you I, I, I couldn't be happier um, with the, this plush that I have been searching for such a long time and I couldn't find it for a reasonable price so I'm very thankful to you um, let's get to the uh, review part I actually haven't found the Drizzile plush yes, here it is um, quite a lot of uh, plastic uh, filling Oh my god, I see I see all the stuff that I have been searching for so long and <laughs> I'm super excited. So this is the package. Um, and here is Drizzile guys. Check this guy out. He's amazing. Oh I like this um I I'm not sure how uh, this is called in English. Um, check it out, he's, he's awesome, he's actually one of my uh, most favorite um, middle stage evolutions from starters, he's so cool, he's like so, uh, <laughs> he's so like emo style I would say, he has this, uh, I would say the, the teenager kind of uh, depression, uh, I guess, or uh, emotional uh, changes happening to him is so amazing and Intellion actually is one of my main uh, Pokemon in Pokemon Unite and when Sobble uh, evolves into Drizzile he becomes uh, so much stronger from just uh, just one evolution he, has, he can uh, jump around and uh, he, he actually throws um, those uh, water balls I would say that I don't know they, they look like uh, apples to me so uh, as we can see he has this uh, two stack um, so the I, I haven't mentioned how this Zen market thing works uh, it's like uh, eBay I would describe it um, there are many sellers and you can add stuff from uh, different sellers there and um, you can decide if you want to ship all of them in one package just like I did uh, or uh, I don't know maybe keep some stuff uh, uh, for later or I don't know all different packages there was also an option that you can prepay any taxes so I did this and I actually paid nothing more just uh, the just all the money that I paid on uh, Zen market so I'm going to be using it uh, a lot more from now on uh, mostly to find some uh, stuff that I can't find normally on Mega Japan that is my main source or uh, eBay uh, and I'm, again I'm so thankful to you uh, for suggesting me this um, let's go back to Drezile so he, he has this uh, different green uh, colors on his um, hands and feet uh, and it was uh, kind of uh, weird for me to um, to see when I when I saw its design when the Pokédex for Paldea was revealed and um, it, it <laughs> there was um, I don't know it, it looked kind of weird for me to see the, uh, the green uh, colors and then go to yellow uh, for Intellion which has some uh, the yellow cape and stuff but he also has these uh, uh, violet uh, colors violet and uh, I don't know purple is this yeah kind of looks like purple um, it is quite large as you can see it's a uh, is uh, uh, larger than my head in height I would say um, he has a great tail, um, nice cute belly right here, uh, he's very soft, um, and I actually like his uh, 
his looks. I'm gonna give you a better look of its eyes, guys. Check it out. As you can see right here, I have my Sobu collection, uh, but I plan on doing a special uh, tribute video, I would say, on uh, this cute little guy. And now that I have all of its uh, evolution line, I'm gonna definitely spend some time and show to showing uh, you guys everything I have for uh, Sobu because he's my favorite uh, basic uh, starter. I'm so happy I got this one. I'm so happy I got this. One. So as I mentioned before, guys, I I ordered stuff um, that I couldn't find. Uh, anywhere else, uh, or there, I could. I only found them in uh, super high prices. But there was a Pokemon that I like so much, and it, there, there had a, they had a recent release on it um, in Japan, and I couldn't find it on Mecha Japan because I guess they had um, low stock. And I, I, I just they, they must have uh, flown over the shelf because they they were very very limited, so I couldn't find it on Mega Japan. And it was uh, I, I think I couldn't find it anywhere on eBay. So I searched uh, Zen Market and Mercari, and I found this amazing Azumarill plush. I. I can't describe how much I love this guy. I actually expected it to be uh, much smaller, but he's he's awesome. He's like the perfect size, guys. I I I, I don't know if I I would like it uh, bigger. He's he's, not, he's perfect. He's just perfect, guys. Oh my God! I think it was the uh, Mofuguro. Uh, series, I'm not sure, and I I also don't know if this uh, is supposed to be. Uh, they were uh, selling it like normal Pokemon Center plushes, or they come from these uh, claw machines that they have uh, in Japan. Uh, are they prize uh, plushes? I don't know. Uh, let's see. It, it has this uh, tag from uh, Ben Presto. And I actually can't find any other information on this tag. But let's talk about the actual plush. First of all, guys, <laughs> I like so much uh, Azumaru because it has the same type as my favorite Pokemon, Primarina, Water and Fairy. Uh, and additionally, he has such an amazing design. It is probably my favorite uh, Gen 2 Pokemon. Yeah, there's um, no other Pokemon that comes to mind that I would like uh, better from Azumarill in the second generation. He's so awesome, guys. He's like egg-shaped and he's also a bunny. <laughs> that I, uh, I also own a uh, real bunny, a pet, and I love it so much. It reminds me of it. It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, he has these uh, <laughs> these uh, cute uh, circles. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be like. Uh, I don't know. It, is it um, uh, what? What is the meaning of this? Is this supposed to be this design to to look like something? I don't know. This could be the sea, I guess, the waves, and these are the. I don't know, some uh, bubbles, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. But they, they are awesome. He's super, super soft. Um, he has uh, a very nice uh, quantity of uh, stuffing uh, in there. So it's sturdy plush. Um, not super, super squishy. Um, let's check out its amazing tail. It's uh, swinging right there. Um, I also love to play this guy on uh, Pokemon Unite. He's such a strong all-rounder. What an amazing plush, guys! Uh, I, I, uh, I always say 
that uh, a plush that I I'm super excited about that it belongs to my top 10 but I have so many now that I, I can't defeat uh, that uh, few pl uh, plushes in my top 10 I don't know but this one would be <laughs> would be one of those that I would say that they uh, belong to my top 10 plushes I love you so much little guy I love you so much he's so, he's super cute check out his ears uh, this one is uh, floppy and it actually stays this way and this one is uh, straight oh it has this um I don't know something uh, it has something that keeps it straight unlike the other one which is bent his, uh, his arms can move he's amazing guys such a cute guy moving on with another plush that I have been wanting to buy for so long and I can't wait anymore. Here it is. I present to you Duraludon. What an awesome Pokemon, guys. Duraludon is such an amazing Pokemon that uh, I have to admit I didn't uh, like uh, at the very, the very few moments uh, that I used it in the game of uh, Sword and Shield because I thought the, its design would look uh, very... It, 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 it looks like... I don't know... Uh, <laughs> is this supposed to be like a, a skyscraper or a cannon or I don't know but this thing, this specific thing that uh, comes off right behind its head it looked like uh, a lighter to me so I was like <laughs> what is the connection? Uh, so, this is supposed to be a cannon? I don't know. Uh, I still haven't figured it out yet. But I got to like it so much. Um, I, I have seen this uh, amazing uh, card. Uh, is this supposed to be a uh, special illustration or something? With um, Gigantamax. Uh, Duraludon. Uh, it is called uh, Duraludon V Max, and it has uh, it, it's in its uh, Gigantamax form, of course. And it's like super, super, super big. And on the top of it uh, is Raihan. It's, it's such an amazing uh, card. I want to add it to my collection sometime. It's it's just awesome. The artwork is amazing. Um, and now that we have uh, our child done, we, <laughs> is another another amazing Pokemon that we got for Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully, we get to see this one as uh, as well. Our child would be an amazing addition to my collection. Um, back to Duraludon now. Uh, he's a very decent sized plush. I noticed now that I, I got it out of this uh, plastic bag that it has these um, uh, hard paper. I don't know how to, to say this on the on these sides. Probably to keep it uh, straight like that and uh, prevent it from being like a kind of floppy. Uh, they actually want to give it like a sturdy look. Um, here on his uh, torso, I would say, there is a different material from the rest of the plush. It is uh, very soft and squishy. Um, I'm not sure if we can um, see. Um, the rest is super soft. I like his uh, gree gree. Sorry. <laughs> My Greek <laughs> came back to me. I like uh, its <laughs> gray colors and like oh his this this pattern on his tail. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a ventilation or something? And this uh, dark blue color on his. Uh, 
uh, underside, I would say bottom side, I don't know, uh, is uh, it gives it gives it um, a very distinct uh, color palette, I would say. I, I can't think of any other Pokemon that has uh, this uh, gray and dark blue uh, pattern and some red stuff. You could say maybe there is uh, this uh, Skarmory. I don't remember the inside of its wings. It has this uh, dark blue color. But it actually, it is so distinct for me. If you, if you would give me these three colors, and uh, told me which Pokemon uh, they describe, I would say Duraludon. It is an amazing plush. So I could only find on Mecha Japan, uh, because I was uh, telling you before that I couldn't find a Duraludon plush. I could only find the Pokedoll, that it is uh, probably like half the size of it. Uh, I don't know, maybe get it sometime. But I actually wanted this one. I have seen it from uh, other. I had seen it from other YouTubers before, and I liked it so much. And it was so expensive on eBay. It was like 60 euros, and I got it maybe like for half the price or maybe less on uh, Zen Market. Look at his eyes. I like it when he uses. Uh, um, his uh, flash cannon move <laughs> on uh, Pokemon Unite that <laughs> it goes like this and opens its mouth and shoots these um, uh, light beams I would say it's so so amazing so for my final plush for today I want to give you a little bit of a backstory first um, quite a few years ago, I was searching for three specific plush that were super rare to find But they were so cool that I wanted to add to my collection The first one was Dusk Maid Necrozma uh, It was uh, such an amazing plush and I actually got to uh, get it from, a, uh, from an eBay uh, seller that um, it was uh, he, he put it uh, like uh, one day or something and I happened to notice it and I actually grabbed it for a very good price so I got the first one the second one was Mega Diancy what an amazing plush guys and what an awesome uh, Pokemon I still haven't found it yet uh, it must uh, be so rare and so expensive that I am I'm not sure I will uh, ever get it but if they make these uh, uh, generation 6 uh, sitting cuties and hopefully we get megas as well I'm definitely going to get this one it's gonna be one of the first purchases that <laughs> that uh, I'm going to get it's gonna be one of the first uh, items that I'm going to add to my cart uh, if we get Mega Diancy, it is it's such an amazing Pokemon, super super cool. But the third one was Koopa Unbound, and this is the one that I got to acquire today. Here it is. Whoa, this guy is super cool, guys. Uh, this plush is I don't know, like uh, maybe ten years ago that it was released maybe more I'm not sure it is amazing super super cool um, one thing that I just noticed today I'm using a warmer uh, light um, on my ring light so just to, to see the difference if it looks better for you guys um, and I noticed that the colors this uh, purple color doesn't actually um, uh, seem like a purple to you. It looks something like someone, I would say. Uh, I would say it is actually uh, purple. So here's a difference. Um, now let's go to, uh, to the plush. So the size is, it, it's quite a large plush, as you can see. Uh, it has one of its arms uh, out of these uh, holes 
Uh, the rest are uh, inside. Uh, th th that was actually a nice uh, concept of them to think. It has six hands and it can store them, maybe, uh, inside him and use uh, one of, uh, I don't know, to, to, to use its attacks. Uh, it is such an awesome Pokemon. I I actually loved the, the film. It was um, I can't remember um, the title of the movie. Oop, uh, I I can't remember, but I do remember that it had actually saw some of the um, the most interesting plots uh, in the Pokemon movies, where this uh, where. Um, Hoopa and uh, its unbound form that it was actually a, like the spirit of anger inside it um, used their rings to teleport many legendary Pokemon and this fight was amazing uh, there was like a, a shiny Rayquaza I think there was right and they, they would call uh, Kyogre and Groudon and Latios and Latios that they would uh, Mega Evolve or undergo Primal Reversion uh, respectively and it was uh, such an amazing fight I, we, ha we haven't seen many battles in uh, the Pokemon anime with uh, so many legendary Pokemon and it was very distinct for me um, about the plush now it is super soft um, it is it, is, it looks very, uh, very nice quality. Um, the, this, uh, the rings, you can see all this uh, yellow stuff are felt, and this one is. Uh, it looks so. I don't know, so well glued. I'm not sure how they they placed uh, this thing. It looks like a, it is a. It's a part of the of the material, I don't know, but it, it's actually uh, glued to it. It is, it is uh, amazing how they, they placed it so well. It is awesome. I like that its, its tail is supposed to be like a devilish <laughs> or something. Uh, and his eyes, his three eyes actually. He has uh, one more on its uh, forehead and uh, as we, uh, we we say everything uh, in this uh, video with other everything with other plushes in this video I started uh, my first supporter on Pokemon Unite with Hoopa uh, so it is actually another reason I like it so much it's a very, I would say it's the, the, the most uh, powerful supporter there, but people don't know how to play it actually. Um, and by people I mean your teammates, <laughs> because it has some uh, very cool interaction with your teammates where you can teleport them around the map. This is such an amazing Pokemon to play. Um, here we also see these uh, felt material rings um, on its horns very nice quality I like its color so much he has uh, its two stag as well so I guess um, that uh, all these uh, sellers or maybe most of them I don't know uh, I'm not sure yet are like uh, personal collectors like myself or maybe you uh, so there is like they are like a second-hand product, and uh, everything I have seen from actually a Zoomaril, <laughs> uh, I I'm not sure because it still has its um, tag on it. Uh, the rest have only their two stags. Uh, they are uh, in amazing condition. They actually had photos of them, so you could uh, see. Uh, every detail, but uh, I received them now. They, they they are amazing. They are amazing quality products. It was so. Uh, 
it was such an amazing. Uh, it, it, it is actually a good uh, way to find new plushes now uh, that I have found this site. Maybe I should try searching for Mega Diancy. We maybe are done with the plushes today, but we are not finished yet. I have this uh, figure that I also got from Zen Market. As you can tell from the giant box, it is a quite large figure. It is the uh, Kyurem White uh, statue, I would say. It, it's more of a statue, it is uh, very big. And I, as I'm trying to unbox it right here, uh, I would say that I, I, find, uh, I found uh, some videos on YouTube and just to see how this uh, figure looks like and uh, they, they also show this giant box of it so here it is guys it is a very 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 large box uh, for this figure uh, check out this Kyurem uh, artwork it is in its overdrive form as you can probably tell and this one is another item that I have been searching for a long time to find. On eBay, it costs about 50 euros plus 20 something or more for shipping, so it was kind of expensive. But maybe you would say that not that expensive for the size of it. And while I was searching uh, Zen Market Marketplace, I said, Let's uh, try searching for this one uh, as well. And I actually find it for a very nice uh, price. So I, I can't remember exactly how much money uh, I spent, but it was a, I remember it was a very good deal. Now, why I can't seem to open this one? It's very tightly sealed. Uh, also, this one I'm not sure if it's uh, second hand because the, the box uh, looks uh, brand new and unopened. So, this must be new, I guess. Let me get this out. So much, so much packaging, guys. Let's move this one well and all this stuff. Put them aside and let's go to the actual figure. Now, come on. Let's get you out. Here it is, guys. Key Orem White. An awesome, awesome figure. It is super cool, guys. It is very large, as you can probably tell. Check out the size. Its uh, tail is super, super long. Um, I like this uh, figure because it uh, the Kurem uh, was uh, in its overdrive mode, so they gave him they gave him this um, red uh, colors, which they look amazing, amazing guy. And he is standing on ice. Here's a label. Uh, where it says uh, white Kyurem. Uh It is a very well made. There are so many details. Just check out its eyes. The painting detail is amazing. I actually cannot find any blemishes or uh, painting uh, mistakes. It is awesome. He's. Let's take a look at the eyes, the base of it, and you can see that on the outer side it has these uh, little cubes pattern. It is amazing. 
Uh, this is definitely a new one. It is. It it, it actually looks brand new. There, I I can't find any uh, marks of uh, use. He's so awesome. Restaurant, if you know, guys, it's by very 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 little. Um, uh, the next. Uh, favorite Pokemon uh, than uh, Primarina. I would say that they are both of the in the, they they are both in the first spot for me. Uh, Primarina and Restaurant. But I like Primarina a little tiny bit more, little tiny bit. Um, and White Curem is an amazing Pokemon as well. And uh, it actually has. Uh, this uh, this movie and the Swords of Justice, I would say, Kyorum and the Swords of Justice, another very interesting Pokemon uh, movie, where he takes uh, all his uh, forms um, and has this uh, cool battle with Keldeo. It is such an amazing figure. So the dreamy question for you guys is where do you get your Pokemon plushes from? My main source is Mecha Japan, um, but I also have uh, plushes from eBay. Uh, I have some from uh, AliExpress, uh, a very few from local stores here in Greece. And uh, now it was the first time that I got from uh, Zen Market Mercari. Where do you get uh, yours? One last thing, guys. Uh, with today's uh, four new addition to my Pokemon Flash collection, I I put them in my list. I try to um, keep a, a list of all the plushes I own, and I tried counting them today, and I have passed the limit of 200 plushes guys I currently with my new additions from today own 205 Pokemon plushes I cannot believe there are so many <laughs> um, I want to give you a full review on my full collection uh, but it's as you can tell it's gonna be a very lengthy and very difficult uh, video for me I need so much time to make uh, this video uh, I maybe split it in parts I don't know maybe in generations or I don't know uh, but I am gonna make it sometime uh, I, I am expecting one order from uh, Mecha Japan one more order from Mecha Japan and maybe if I add them too I will give you <laughs> a full review on my collection I want to do it uh, for you guys, but I have so much other stuff to to show you. Uh, I intend on uh, making a video for my Sobol plush, as, uh, as you as I told you before. Uh, I want to make some videos for my Pokemon pins collection and my figures, and th there's so much stuff. I'm gonna make so many videos for you guys. And in July, uh, I have my one year anniversary uh, from creating this uh, channel. And I'm super thankful for you guys, for all of you that you are following me. Uh, so maybe, actually, that would be a very cool anniversary video. My, my full collection. I don't know. Maybe I do it uh, earlier. I'm not sure. Thank you guys so much. Um, once again, I, I need to give my special thanks to the Reddit user that helped me find uh, Drizzile and discover the Zen Market marketplace. Thank you so much. I your your help your your help was very important for me. Um, and as I told you guys, uh, join the. Uh, Reddit Pokeplush community. We have some amazing members there. Again, thank you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>